What is crack lagging guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today we are early. Showed up to work today and uh, I'm supposed to be doing some painting, some trim work and stuff and um, guys are laying carpet right where I need to be painting. Didn't know you were gonna be here today. I didn't know you were gonna be here today and I was like, hey, I can be the first one to leave. I will be out of here. I got stuff to do anyway, which I don't, which is pretty much just fishing. So I figured what the hell will come out and um, it is nasty windy outside. It's like 25 degrees or something, but 30 mile an hour wind right now. It is rugged out there. We are here and we are gonna try some freaking crappie fishing. I haven't been on this lake. I don't think I've been on this lake yet this year. Um, did a little bit of a drive north from my place and uh, try a new lake, I think. We're gonna see if we can find some crappies. I got some old marks from last year that we did good on and um, I do not have a pan optics, so it might get uh, a little tough. You know how that goes. Crappies without a pan optics can be a little tough. But um, drill like five or six holes, see if they're there, see if we can get a couple. Probably set the shack up because it is freaking cold, like I said. We're gonna get out there. I'm probably not gonna do any filming. Probably not gonna do any filming unless I'm in my freaking house because um, this is a small lake and um, it's you've been here or you've seen the backgrounds you can probably figure out where i'm at that's why i'm doing this intro in the truck and we're gonna only film inside the hub house so you guys cannot steal my crappie spot you're welcome it is deep 35 40 feet of water or something like that these crappies are out in the basin like most lakes this time in the winter so this is a harvest mission we're gonna go for the kill and um you can only keep 10 so we're just gonna get our 10 and probably roll on out of here well that would be best case scenario but it looks nasty out there there's like leaves just zipping by the truck going 100 miles an hour i'm not happy about that i'm gonna get out there and drill some holes you guys stay freaking doing holy hell all right 10 30. that took me a lot longer than i expected Holy hell, that took me a while to find these fish. That was brutal, especially with the temps. As you can tell, I'm going bare minimum today. Pretty much got a heater, Vexar rod, and one camera. That is already acting up on me. This camera's gonna be the life of me. It's gonna be the life of me. I didn't even grab it. Oh my god, hey camera, I'm gonna kill ya. Like I said, it took me way longer than expected. Just got uh, a Euro Tackle Tungsten Jig Head and a Euro Tackle Y Fry on there. I drilled too many damn holes. Didn't charge the auger battery last night. Left it in my truck last night. It was beeping at me right away. And, um,. Because every hole seems to have perch in it. And I had to um, see if they're perch or if they're crappies. So it took a lot longer than expected. But I think finally. That's a good fish. Wow. That one came flying up. But I think finally we, uh, we found the school of crappies finally. I didn't even bank the house in. Don't have a shovel with me. Oh yeah, I just did. Just a dandy crappie to start the day. There we go, there's crappie number one. I, with how many are down there right now, something tells me this is gonna be a five minute video. I'm just gonna look. If the house doesn't take off on me. There's a good chance on that. I'll hold her down. I got it tied to the truck, door handle. Probably not a good idea. Got a propane tank sitting on the flap in here with the heater. Let's just hope that um, these crappies hold still because I'm not going back outside. Just say that. We are going to see if we can just get enough for dinner right where we're at. Oh yeah, we're going to get enough here. Trust me on that deal. Got one. Oh 
these are big ones too. These are good fish. Oh, they're so stacked. This is deep water, so we're gonna not be um, releasing, unfortunately. If we get a small bite, we probably will just try and shake them off down there. Oh, oh, oh my. Dude. That is a freaking horse of a crappie right there. That is a freaking horse. That's a pie, dude. Yeah, let's go. Like I said, I don't think this is going to take long now that I found where they're at. I'm just going to let the cameras roll, baby, and we're going to get our limit and get the hell right on out of here. So, wow, actually, I'm hoping they're not that big, to tell you the truth. I'd take, uh, I'd take some smaller ones. Other than that, here comes another one instantly. There we go, that's a good eater class. Not a not a 14. This is sick. It is fun once you find them, let me tell you. Woo! There is a... There's a difference on that guy. Let me tell you. Send him home. His eyes were not papping. His gills weren't bleeding. I'm going to send him home. Hopefully I don't regret that, but uh, we'll see. Oh my gosh, just speed racers. Got another one. His buddy came up and just said, oh, I'll slap that around. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is fun. When they get loaded like this, man, is it fun. There we go. Perfect freaking eater right there. That is exactly what I'm looking for. I heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Speed racer. Big and good. Just hit it with some aggression. Gosh, these fish are fired up. It is so fun once you find these fish out in a basin like this. They, they're hot and heavy. Let's just say that. It's like they don't see food much or something. Because, man, it's all they want to do is just eat. That is a freaking good one right there. <laughs> so I'm going to show you something. You can reel these fish up super slow. If you get a small one. And you know it's small, just literally, I just pretty much hold it there in one spot. Hope that it uh, comes off. But I'm going to show you something. I know some people are going to be like, why are you keeping them bigger fish? Look at his eyes. They're not supposed to be like that, trust me. Look at this one. This one's a smaller one that I actually reeled up kind of slow because I didn't know if it was a good keeper. But that seems normal. Uh, kind of. He's still got him bloated out, but... These are pies. These are freaking horses be running. Here's another telltale sign. Look at his gills. Look at this big one already. Look at the bottom of his gills right in here. Get all the blood already coming out. He is, uh, he's pretty much dead. So. It ain't worth releasing if there's a good chance that they're gonna die. I don't advise coming out here and just catching and releasing and having fun. It's one of those things, I call it the harvest mission. Come out here, get what you want to eat, and um, don't catch any more than that, literally. Because you will kill a lot of fish in the lake. It's, a lot of people say, well, it, it took off, it went back down. I watched it go all the way down on my graph. Yeah, he might have went all the way down. But trust me, when his gills are exploded down there and he's bleeding that bad. Oh man, they're just, it's just buck wild in here. They're not going to live, okay? 
can think what you want, say what you want. I just advise not even doing it. It's not worth it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, wow. We've got a tugger, boys. I mean a tugger. We're going to be out of here in short order, ladies and gentlemen. You can't even get close to them and they're just... <laughs> oh no, that was a giant. I'm actually not pissed about it, I'd rather. He stayed out there. Ooh, that wind is nasty. Ooh, that wind, though. Jesus Christ. Okay, so here we go. We've got a really small fish. I'm actually just gonna stir shake it a couple times. This is how slow we're gonna go. Let's see if he's gonna come off. Fortunately it doesn't seem like he's gonna come off. Just bring him up as slow as we possibly can. And there he is. Uh, um, where's the thing's going for? But here we go. No eyes popped out. No bleeding underneath the gills. But um, that's actually my favorite size is the E actually, so we're gonna keep them. Um, number six. A lot of times I wouldn't keep ten crappies in one go around, but um, when I travel up to a smaller lake like this, these fish don't get hit as hard as a lot. I'm not saying, okay, go out and keep a bunch of fish because. They don't get a lot of pressure, but these fish definitely um, don't get hit as hard as most crappies would. You know what I mean? So I'm not scared to keep my 10. Small fish. That's what I said about the last one. Sometimes they just don't do much in the deep water. So, make a pile, baby. Make a freaking pile. Three more, and we're freaking out of here. But just as fast as we came in, it actually took me less time to catch these fish than it did to uh, find the fish, which is typical. If you don't have a good old pan optics, people call it, you know. The panty can help you a lot in the crappy fishing world probably one of the smartest tools for uh, crappie fishing but I just don't I just don't have one man it's a lot of money stupid amounts of money and um, yeah, I just can't see paying that much for one so Vexlar it is you know what I mean sometimes it's all it takes though just take a little extra extra work a little more drilling holes Yeah. 
Because you know the ones that are just coming from the back of the pack. You see them absolutely ripping and then they just lift the rod tip. Didn't have 16 feet of freaking deucer cord down there. Oh my gosh. The plastic's just not even on there anymore. It's just falling off. I'm just gonna send it right back on there. Yeah, they got, they got some good ones though. Holy. on it. Gosh dang. Are there small fish? Some might be some might be better, but like I said in that deep water they don't fight that much. Little guy. Little guy. But um look at how nice his eyes are in. His gills are nice perfectly white. That thing will definitely make it if you don't stuff them in the slush first yeah beyond yeah, yes let your friend eat it that little one was just would not leave it alone I've seen this bigger mark sitting down there behind him finally got the little one to leave it alone for a minute get the bigger one One more, one more, and we're not even dropping back down. Sad, trust me, but it was short-lived. I think it lasted 15 minutes. <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and worry about killing fish or injuring fish. I'm just gonna get them and get out, man. It's the only way to do it. Just missed that last one. So many of them. All right, this one feels. This one feels worthy enough. I'm just doing it. It's coming up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You digging? This one's it. Speed rail them. It's coming home. Yeah. That'll do it. Here's the 15 minute limit for you. And it's. it's Still freaking stacked down there, but um, we're not gonna play that game. Just gonna wrap it up here. So, just need to turn this off. This makes me so sad. I wish they were 20 feet of water so I could just pound on them all day, but what do you do? Alright, that's that. Hit me up at Arby's. Yeah, just got back to town. Rolled up to Arby's. Totally forgot. It happened so freaking fast out there. I totally forgot that um, I didn't even do an outro. Yeah. So uh was just here grabbing some food at Arby's and I was like, dang, I should probably get that knocked out. And now they got me here waiting for my food because we have the meats. The loins are in the back, trust me. Now, but their brisket sandwich is pretty fire so i uh set the shack up walked in there and it was just a couple minutes before 10 30 i was back in my truck and driving at 11 05 or something so that's what tearing down picking everything up putting everything back in the truck we have a 15 minute limit right there pretty pumped about that haven't been up to that lake yet this year and um yeah she's obviously still good to go and a honey hole up there let me tell you if you guys are fishing crappies in deep water like that, I know 35, I anything over 30 for crappies is pushing it. They have a really weak uh, air bladder, and um, even if their air bladder doesn't explode, um, these fish bleed in the gills really bad from deep water pressure, I'm guessing, busts them. But just keep an eye on that. Don't go out there and start um, catching and releasing a bunch of fish because you will kill a lot of fish, and um, that is not what we want here. So... I got my limit. We're going to go home. 
cut those suckers up, grub down on this brisket whenever they get it to me. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Martial Outdoors. As always, I don't know where I'll be next. Probably on the ice, catching something, doing something dumb. You guys, stay freaking doing.